Hello, my friends. So it's about high time to discuss uh, the story about the IQ um, that made some noise. This is going to be a very brief technical presentation. The first thing you notice is that if a function has a piecewise high correlation and on the other side a very low correlation say I mean, if you take an extreme 100 percent on the downside as you can see here and zero percent on the upside and you put the threshold wherever you want the average correlation is not going to be 50 percent even if you have 50 percent observation on either side the average observation is going to be something quite complicated about something like 86 percent this is a Monte Carlo, but we can do it analytically. So it tells you the following, that if I have a measure that of incompetence that sort of works well because it can detect uh, uh, stupidity, which is very easy to detect anyway, you don't need a measure for that. You just uh, ask someone to you know, give him an address or ask him to find a coconut in your garden where you, you know, have it in plain view or something as stupid as that. So if a measure can detect incompetence, it will give you the illusion of having a very high correlation in detecting competence, although you know, it would be flat uh, above a certain level. In other words, it cannot detect competence. So this is well known by my friend Raphael Douadi, who is a mathematician, who has worked on something called polymodels on, uh, for, for factor analysis. And, and I spent some time looking at it with him uh, in my finance days, uh, where you want to look at things that correlate to crashes but not rallies. So we're quite familiar with the problem. And the math is uh, uh, quite obvious. You cannot use a lot of uh, the factor analysis that is being currently used in something called the G, because the factors that enter the G are not linear and when you have nonlinear factors you cannot do a pca or something called pca factor analysis the eigenvalues will be what we call state dependent which doesn't work it's in the piece on medium uh, another intu uh, intuition that you can see here very easily is take uh, uh, take something like like this is wealth all right and, and you can see wealth and and so-called the measure of iq you can easily see that in that uh, corner here uh, that it doesn't that iq uh, doesn't translate to wealth uh, what well, it does translate but uh, there's a negative correlation and and visibly here you have no correlation for 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 higher numbers it's just like all over the map so you realize very easily very quickly that you have a nonlinear correlation that's my my, my problem now Unless psychologists have invented some new mathematics uh, that I'm not aware of, and my friends that I've consulted with, um, in you know, who work on these things, uh, haven't yet uh, heard of these mathematics. Unless they've invented these mathematics, it's pretty much BS. You you can really uh, uh, um, uh, say that it's all BS. So that's the first mathematical problem. The second uh, problem is actually more severe, and, and that's, that's the one uh, that I uh, have detected years ago when I was asked to debate uh, Charles Murray. And, and of course, I realized that he is pretty clueless about statistics, so I was nice to him. Uh, I was told by a fellow libertarian, listen, don't be harsh on libertarians, so we changed subject from the bell curve to something else. And it's as follows. If your performance, as you can see here, is fat-tailed, any performance, I mean, you're not measuring a metric by itself. You measure a metric in how it fares in predicting something. If that something that's being predicted has fat tail dynamics and the predictor, that metric called IQ, is by design Gaussian, then the result is that the correlation between the two will not converge unless you meet some very specific conditions that usually obviously are not met by, some, met by something like income, wealth, or other variables. And this we know very well, that income and wealth are fat dealt variables. Even scientific publications, the number of publications per author or performance, no matter how you measure it, when you have a quantitative number to that performance, not a qualitative number, like did well or not, didn't do well, a binary classification or a um, something of the sort, then you realize that that thing doesn't fail. So this is my, my technical problem with IQ. Good luck if you have a solution 
in the meanwhile have a great day thanks bye now